we all have studied the concept of supply and demand in school, right? So you know if the supply of a good exceeds the demand for it, prices will fall. But if the demand is more than the supply, the prices will rise. So today we'll talk about those skills which are in high demand but the supply is less because there are less people who can do those jobs and hence they are paid high salary. So irrespective of whichever country you are or you want to migrate to, these skills are in shortage and high demand. If you want to earn high salary, keep watching the video till the end. Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. I pulled the data from various sources like Nesta, which is innovation expert, LinkedIn, Future Skills, Gartner and McKinsey to prepare today's video. They have considered factors such as automation, urbanization and an older population and what the job market will look like in the next 10 years with salary and beyond. So let's begin with skill number three, which is digital marketing. So what is digital marketing? Digital marketing is the advertising of products or services utilizing digital means like like social media, search engines, email, as well as their websites in order to interact with existing and future customers. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many firms, large and small, have shifted to digital marketing. As more and more businesses are running their businesses online, they also need people to maintain their social handle accounts to engage with their end customers. So if you're good at search engine optimization, creating reels, stories, writing content, or even video editing, you can earn a good salary. Now, let's talk about growth projects. As per LinkedIn report from this year, digital marketing is booming and creating more high paying jobs. The digital marketing specialist job role with 860,000 open job ranks as one of the top 10 most in demand careers on LinkedIn. Similarly, according to a survey on LinkedIn, there's a shortage of around 230,000 digital marketing experts in United States alone. Now let's look at the job titles with high salary and huge demand. They are digital marketing manager, social media analyst, SEO analytics, SEO manager, and content planning to name a few. So what are the tools they use? They use social media marketing tools, email marketing tools, SEO, which is search engine optimization tools, conversion optimization tools, lead enrichment tools, landing page and lead capture tools, and graphic creation tools. Now, if you're wondering which companies that hire them, so almost all the companies who got digital presence needs digital marketing experts to run their business. Now, let's quickly look at the average salaries for digital marketing manager. In the UK, the average salary is £50,000 per annum. In India, the average salary is £720,000 per annum. In USA, the average salary is US dollars. 130,000 per annum. Now, skill number two, programming skills. Programmers are one of the highest payers in the world. If you're wondering who they are, in simple terms, programmers are people specialized in communicating with the computers through their programming language. They build software, program or reprogram software by using any programming languages like Java, Python, C++, .NET, just to name a few. By the way, do you know that I started my career as a mainframe developer? Anyways, moving on, let's talk about growth projection. 9,600 600 openings for computer programmers are projected each year on an average over the next 10 years. Now, if you're wondering who hires programmers, so almost all the companies need programmers. Now, let's look at the salaries. I've taken an example of full stack developer and sources Glassdoor. So the average salary in the UK, you can earn 69,000 pounds. In India, you can earn anywhere between 499,000 to 825,000 per annum. In USA, you can earn on average US dollar 108,000 per annum. So any of you who wants to start your career in IT, now is the time. Most working professionals and students face two problems when they try learning IT skills. First, they think they need coding to land a high paying job. This is wrong. In fact, you just need graduation in any field for my Indian audience. But if you're already abroad, like anywhere in UK, Europe or USA, you don't even need degree. But any professional certificate in IT is enough to get you started. Second, before learning the skills, they don't know which field interests them the most among the data analysts, front end, back end, quality assurance. So to solve both the problems, I did recommend you to check out the partners of this video video coding invaders. They offer an IT profession from scratch to employment course, which helps you to avoid the risk of wasting time and money in getting into an IT job, which you may not like. This is a nine months course that comes with a hundred percent employment guarantee. In the first six weeks of the course, you learn about the different IT fields. And then with the help of a career counselor, you choose which profession interests you the most. Then you learn about that IT profession from 
scratch for the next eight months. There's also one month internship which you will do post which you will land a guaranteed job. The students who have enrolled with them got rupees 10 to 25 lakhs per annum worth of package in India. Before enrollment, you will have a money back guarantee agreement, which means if you don't land a job after completion of the course, full amount paid by you will get refunded. So call them for free counseling by clicking the link given in the description and comment section for more details and use coupon code YKB20 for 20% discount in job guarantee bat. Now, skill number one on my list is data analytics. So for my new audience, it means analyzing unstructured data to structure it so that it makes sense for the business leaders so that they can make their future strategic decision. Give an example of my company. We are the largest tour operator in Europe and hence we want to analyze the data like age group who travel with us, how many times they travel, which location they travel, how much they spend on a holiday and many more parameters like this. So our analytics team, which comprises of data scientists and data analytics, they review and analyze the data and share with our stakeholders so that they can make better decisions like adding more cheap holidays, adding more flexibility to the holiday package and many more. Similarly, each company have their data analytics team as they all want to make data driven decision to reduce cost, improve customer experience, optimize existing processes and achieve better targeted marketing. Now, let's look at the future growth projection. Latest report from McKinsey stated that data analytics and information services will have the fastest growth rate at 16 to 18% over the next five years, while core administrative services are unlikely to see much growth due to automation. And Gartner predicts that by the end of 2024, 75% of organizations will transition away from pilot programs and experiments to fully operationalize big data strategies. Kind of job titles which falls under this are data analytics engineer, business intelligence engineer, machine learning engineer, data scientist, big data engineer, just to name a few. Now, few of the tools they use are Tableau, Power BI, SQL, and programming languages like Python and R. Now, if you're wondering which are the companies around the world who hires them, so everybody needs them. So start your job search via LinkedIn today. Now, let's look at the salary package from Glassdoor for data analytics engineer roles. For UK entry-level jobs, you can get anywhere from 23 to 25,000 pounds per annum. And after a few years of experience, you can expect 30 to 35,000 per annum. And for experienced people, you can expect anywhere from 60,000 per annum. In India, it ranges from 52 to 66,000 per annum. In USA, the average salary in US dollar is 105,000 per annum. Now, before I wrap this video, tell me which field are you working in now and whether you are thinking to switch your career. If yes, which field are you choosing to choose? Also, if you want to know which skills will get you PR in UK, make sure you go and check out this video. Thanks for watching the video till the end and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.